Hello and welcome to Virtualize Everything. In today's video tutorial, we're going to be diving into how to add more storage to your Proxmox server while keeping that stock look and feel. We'll be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to add a second hard drive to your system and extend your local LVM volume using LVM so that you can keep that stock look and feel and interact with your Proxmox system just as though it was a fresh install on a single hard drive. Whether you're running out of space or just planning ahead, this upgrade will keep your Proxmox system tidy and efficient. The first thing you're going to need to do is log into your Proxmox web interface. As you can see, I have done so. And this is a fresh install of Proxmox. 8.4. If you're using a different version of Proxmox, this guide may be very similar as we're going to do a lot of work today in the command line. In past videos, you guys have shown me that there are opportunities to do work like this in the web interface that I have missed. So go ahead and drop a comment below if that is true for this setup. The first thing I want to go ahead and do is select my PVE or what I'm calling my Proxmox node. By default, it will be PVE, just as mine is here. And then I'm going to go down here to disks. Here in disks, you can see the initial install volume right here and the three volumes that it creates or partitions that it creates. We can also see my newly added SDB drive, which is a hundred gig or thereabouts hard drive that's been added to this system, but nothing's been done with it. If we click on LVM, you can see that our total size here for any of the local volume groups is going to be 33.82 gigs. And clicking on LVM fin here, you can see that we have an extra drive of 12.8 one gigs and tied to this data LVM fin is going to be our local LVM just here and you can see our size of 12.81. All right so now that we've looked through everything and we've kind of determined where they are and now that we've looked through everything we're going to go back to our disks under our node and we're going to go ahead and select our SDB and just in case you're using a different drive my drive here is actually blank we're going to go ahead and press wipe drive and click yes this is going to make sure our drive is completely wiped cleared has no partitions or anything else assigned to it that'll make the next steps more efficient and make Make it easier for us to work with them. Now that our drive has been wiped and we know the name of SDB for this drive, it's time to head over to the command line and start the process of adding SDB to our LVM volume. So in order to do this, we want to make sure our node is selected and come up here to shell. Shell's going to give us another window as such here, and we can extend this window out if we want so that we can kind of see things easier. And we're going to want to enter a command of pv create in order to create the new lvm volume or lvm physical volume so we'll do that by entering pv and once you've entered pv create you need to enter the path to your drive and if we remember right it's dev slash sdb we saw that just a moment ago in the web interface so the entire command here should look like so, and we can go ahead and press enter at this point, and it should say that we have successfully added SDB to a physical volume, or the physical volume has been successfully created, just as mine says here. Now we want to use the command of VGS to check out our volume groups here in the Proxmox server. So entering VGS and pressing enter shows us that we have one volume group called PVE and we're going to use VG extend to extend that volume group to our new hard drive. So once we enter VG extend, we need to tell it the name of our current volume group that we're going to be extending, which ours is PVE. And then we need to tell it the path to that drive, which is going to be slash dev slash SDB in our case. Now, I do want to highlight that SDB could be SDE, SDC, 
so on and so forth. Your primary drive should be called SDA, but even in some cases that might not be true. So you want to make sure that you're verifying your drive before you do this and making sure that you do know the correct name for your drive, not blindly following my commands here. So you may have to change that to actually show your drive depending on your setup. Once we've entered that VG extend and our volume group of PVE and our drive, we can go ahead and press enter here and we should get another message saying that the volume group was successfully extended. But we're not finished yet here. So what we need to do now is we need to look at our local LVMs or our thin LVMs, and we're going to do that with a command of LVS. And this is going to show us the three um, LVMs that we have here. And remember, we want to work with that data LVM, so not the root or the swap. Swap, of course, is going to be for system files and system behavior, and root is going to be where Proxmox itself is installed. To grow this out to fully fill the new space that we've added by adding in the SDB drive to our PVE volume group, we're going to use the command LV extend, and then we're going to add a dash L and then a plus symbol, 100, and the percent sign, and then free in capital letters. So we're telling the system to extend the LVM group to 100% of the free space of the drive, which is what we'll enter next. And that volume group that we created is going to be called PVE slash data. Pressing enter, we should get an output that we've successfully resized this drive. The last step is going to be to resize the pool, and we're going to do that with LV resize, and then we're going to add a dash dash and resize file system like so. And again, we're going to add that dash L plus 100% free in capitals. And just like before, this is telling it to use 100% of the free space to go ahead and resize our new pool. This time we're going to call this slash dev slash PVE slash data. And pressing enter, we should get a message saying that it has been extended. If everything has gone right, we can go ahead and close out our shell terminal and refresh here at disks. We should now see that our disk has been added to our LVM. And here under LVMs, we should see that our disk has been added along with SDA3, which is that third partition that we talked about that ties back to the local LVM. And here under LVM thin, you should see that our size now has gone to 120 gigs from the 12.83. Also, if we select local LVM over here in the data center bar, we should also see that that size is now 120.19 gigs. So we know this process was successful and we've successfully added a second hard drive to our Proxmox system, all keeping the stock look and feel. So if you look at other people's systems, you know how they'll have different drives dropped down here. And this is really nice if you want to do different things. But if you want to just have a really stock flowing system or a system where you have multiple nodes and you want to transfer things, it's really nice to just have 
the local LVM work. Now, of course, if you have a network, a NAS or something like that, you definitely want to add that in here differently because Proxmox is going to interact with that differently than static drives inside of here. Also, if you're using ZFS, this video isn't for you. This is kind of for the person that's doing an intermediate or beginner install of Proxmox and using LVM. If you do have ZFS, you can take similar steps to this to add drives, and you can actually do more with it as far as backup and whatnot when configuring ZFS. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative, and you're able to start interacting with your Proxmox system and add your drive in what should be a more convenient way. If this video helped you, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to help for virtualize everything, continue to grow, and help us bring you more content like this. As always, have a good night.